Hey everybody and welcome to my life lately. It is Kylie. I am going to be planning for the week of the 30th through the 5th, I believe. So it is the week of the 30th through the 5th. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time remembering that. And yes, um, if you're wondering, there is ice in my coffee mug and it is not coffee. I am having myself a little glass of margarita, but I had to be a little bit festive because, I mean, this is Halloween week, basically. So I am going to be using the Sweet Monsters mini kit. Well, what's left of it, I guess I could say. And I am going to be changing up my layout a little bit because I am no longer going to need a feeding log like I've shown in my previous videos. I'm actually going to try to leave that blank, that space blank, because I will actually be recording how many ounces. I, You know what? I might actually just leave this like that, and then I will kind of go with the flow whenever the week starts, because I need to kind of record how many ounces my daughter eats in a day so that I can be prepared for when I go back to work to be able to give them as many ounces as she needs. So yeah, that'll, that'll be a change from my usual layout, but for you guys it'll probably look the same actually because I'm not, oh, I don't know, I don't know how I'm going to do it. I'm going to go ahead and lay down the washi. I'm going to be using both of these, so I think this one's going to be on the top on every other page. So, so like starting with this, this week I'm going to have um, this one at the very top and then this one at the bo bottom down here like I always do. But then every other day, it'll be like the opposite. So I'll go here on top and here on top. Does that make any sense? You guys, you guys will probably get the gist as I do it. So let's jump right into doing that so that way you guys don't have to sit through me talking too much. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I for sure am going to be using this one. And I think I'm going to also use this one. And if I have room, I'm going to use this one. But I don't know if I will. So let's throw these down. How was your guys' week? Mine was really good. I had... Lots of fun with my girls. We carved pumpkins the other day. And the girls had a blast. Well, more so my oldest. My youngest didn't really know what was going on. But we put her in a pumpkin. I am going to go ahead and do what I did last week. If you guys saw that video... Um, I used these sparkly headers from the Scribble Prints Co. I'm just going to lay that on the top here. Ooh, that is really, really off. Oh, that was a fail too. I ripped it. It's okay. I sort of saved myself. And then... For the to-do, I'm going to use the pink one this week, right underneath that. So it looks like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and darken my lines again using the Tombow. I'm going to do the end. 
N75, actually. Alrighty, so I used the Tombow Soft Tip brush pen or Tombow Fedonoske brush pen in the Soft Tip to write in the days of the week and the coordinating numbers. And then I'm going to go ahead and use the Coffee Monster Co. onesie days of the week with the coordinating date, like heads. <laughs> I was going to say headers, but that's not really a header. I think I want to use these ones here and I always put them up here in the corner just underneath the washi and I'll do that for all of the days of the week maybe if I can get the stickers off so they do a trunk or treat at my daughter's school on Halloween so we're super excited that she can do that and then we're actually going to be going trick-or-treating with my sister and her daughter as long as my husband is on the road I'm not 100% sure what his schedule is looking like at the moment. So, if he is on the road, then I will be trick-or-treating with them because I think that taking the youngest and my oldest will be a, a little bit much for me. Especially because... Oh, that one was way off. You guys think I can get this? Probably not. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. I got it. Wow. I can barely see this edge. That's okay. I like my book that's chunky. But yeah, so I think it's going to be a little bit much to take my littlest out, especially if it's really cold. I live in a very cold area, so like I walked to the mailbox just a little bit ago. Granted, it is dark outside now, and so there is no light, but okay, why are these ripping really bad? That's not normal. But it was 40 degrees outside. That's pretty, pretty stinking cold. Okay. I need to get my tweezers out. This is too much. I did redo my nails. I know they're not Halloween theme anymore, but I had to. <laughs> They were getting to the point where I didn't like the regrowth look of him, so um, these are really, really, really bad. So I definitely redid them the other night, and I stayed up a little too late trying to get them to where I liked the look of them. Um, I do my own acrylic, so I have to also find time to do my nails. I like never have time to do them when the girls are awake, so it's usually at night when I get my me time in. So. 
that's when I'm able to do my nails. Do you guys have any big plans for Halloween? If you do, comment them down below. I am such a, like, I'm such the per I don't even know how to say this. I am more so a person who likes to be at home handing out candy rather than being out and trick-or-treating. Is that just me? <laughs> All right, so I got the date covers on. I'm going to go ahead and do my sleep tracker right here. I think I'm going to use... I'm going to use the gray again, which is the same N75 that I used to darken up my lines. I'm also going to use my Pentel Energel Quenna to write in the days of the week and then the numbers for how much sleep I'm getting. And then I'm going to write sleep up at the top with my Tombow Fedonoske brush pen in the soft tip. Like so. I'm not looking forward to this this week because that means I have to go to work soon and I am not excited about that whatsoever. So I'm going to come back to decorate this but I'm going to go ahead and use some of my, oh I have hair, whoa that was spooky if you guys didn't see the hair you just saw the sticker just fly right off. I think my house is haunted or something so I did kind of go through and organize my stickers I'm gonna stick to the blues the grays and maybe some black for this spread and I'm just gonna go ahead and lay these down and put the to-do stickers down as well and I'm gonna speed you guys through that so that way you don't have to watch me do that over and over and over again but I will show you guys slow-mo like um on this first one so I have so many of these from the Scribble Prints Co kits that I used to do all the time and I gotta use them up, right? Because I didn't use them up back then. So I might as well use them up now. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and do that throughout the whole week and I will be right back.
Alrighty. So, sorry, before I throw this down, this is the 761 Tombow brush pen. I'm going to go ahead and do my wet and dirty diaper chart. This is sad because it's probably going to be the last wet and dirty chart that I get to make unless I'm doing it on the weekends Ooh. but I don't think I'm going to do it on the weekends so I'm going to speed you guys through that as well and then I'm also going to use my um, Pentel Energel Klenna, and I think this is 0 0.3. I think I may have said that earlier, but I don't remember if I said it was 0 0.3. Um, and I'm going to write wet and dirty on these as well. Real quick, so you guys don't have to sit through that entirety. Okay, so I think I'm going to do what I did last time with these little corner pieces that she gave, or um, Scribble Prince Co. does in like the pack of, I don't, I don't remember if she still even does these or not. That's how long it's been since I've had them. But because I don't have enough pink ones, I'm actually going to throw in the pink ones from this rainbow. I don't, I'm not sure what you call this, but the rainbow one to get the pink ones for these corners. Um, where did I set my tweezers? Okay, I found my tweezers. I am actually going to do what I did last week with the ones in the corner, right? And then, oh, I didn't give myself that much room last time. Oh, well. It'll be fine. And then I do want to let you guys know that I've been trying to get my videos to upload on Sundays, but that will probably change once I start working again because I I'm thinking about giving myself a smaller space so that way I can write like the total amount of ounces. We're actually we're going to do it this way. We're just going to make a small box because she's going to mm, She's, when I start work, I work for a lot of hours, and I need to figure out how many ounces she eats throughout the day because I will no longer be exclusively breastfeeding her because I have to bring in bottles, and I need to write out on the bottles how many ounces are in there as well as like I need to give them as many bottles as she needs in one day 
So this is going to be an experimental week for me. I'm actually a little bit nervous to see how this goes. Because I don't know. I've been exclusively breastfeeding since day one and it's a little worrisome. I'm actually, I'm not even going to do the rest of the week because I don't know whether or not I want to make a big note saying like she had this many ounces and that was how many bottles or I don't really know how I want to do that. So I think I'm actually going to leave it like this and I'll leave these with this week just in case I need them. But yeah, I am just a little bit nervous. I also want to mention that given the... Hold on a second. I'm missing my no spend. We got to put that in. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm just going to use the no spend sticker from the Coffee Monster Co. I have her website linked in the description box below if you've never been to her shop. You can check it out. I'm going to go ahead and decorate this little area while I talk to you guys about what I'm worried about. So, to be quite honest, I wish I could just be a stay-at-home mom. I know that sounds crazy, but, and I know being a stay-at-home mom is a job of its own, but I'll be honest, like, I'm a little bit worried to see how this all goes because there's only a little bit of time for me to spend with the girls when I'm not at work, and a lot of that time will be me making dinner and trying to get them to bed at a decent time. I'm just a bit worried. And then I've been on a schedule for uploading my plan with me's every Sunday and that's probably going to change when I start work again because I won't have as much time you guys can like barely see this one oh my goodness I won't have as much time to film and do all of that fun fun stuff film, edit the works I won't have like any time to do it all so that worries me a little bit because I want to be able to post frequently but I don't think I'll be able to give as much time in my day to post which is really sad I'm just going crazy I know there's this doesn't make any sense because books don't float but <sighs> my brain is all discombobulated anyway So it just worries me because I just want to be home with my girls. I want to watch the milestones as they happen. And I feel like a lot of moms can relate to what I'm feeling if they had to go to work as well. So, yeah.
if I can figure out how to make a simple income just by being home, I would take that over having to go work all the time. There. Looks looks cute. Can't forget to put the bean and a bean card. But yeah. So, if you guys can relate to how I'm feeling or what have you, just send me some good vibes because I'm I'm nervous. I'm freaking out internally and yeah I feel like I'm going on a little rant but that is how I feel so I do have this 2023 holiday and I have barely touched it because I kind of forgot that I had it so we're gonna throw in the Halloween one even though this should go on like my calendar, but I already have it on my calendar. So I can throw that one up here. Actually, yeah. Cute. So yeah, this is my week ready to go send me all your your helpful tips because I'm I'm nervous you guys nervous to see how it all goes when I go back to work so like I was saying I normally post on Sundays I probably won't be able to post every Sunday I'm gonna try but Please bear with me if I do not get around to posting one of the weeks. I'm gonna my goal is to get at least two weeks in so that way when I do post like my monthly flip through kind of to show you guys where I'm at with my planner, then it'll be more of a surprise whereas you're seeing every single spread of mine this way. Um, recording every week so the next time well the next month I should say will be a little bit different because you won't be seeing every single spread that I make in my planner but yeah if you guys enjoyed this video which I hope you guys did I know it was a little all over the place but if you guys like this video hit that thumbs up button if you haven't already subscribed please do so so that you get notified every time that I make an upload when I'm able to make an upload and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!